Hey folks, it's March the 15th, 2013. This is Eric King here with Shallowbrook Farm. And um, we've kind of made a commitment to uh, show our customers a little more what we're doing through the season. So you've got an idea how your food's grown and where it's coming from and what we're up to um, to get that to happen. And um, it's early in the spring. It's We've had a lot of snow and a lot of rain here lately and it's far too wet to be doing anything in the field not to mention the fact that the nighttime temperatures are still in the 20 20s and that's just far too cold for most of the vegetable plants to go outside and be plant planted in the field but what we do have to do is get plants ready to go in the field when the time comes and that has to be done in a greenhouse where under a controlled environment and controlled temperature and um, I wanted to share with you uh, what I was doing today. We started some Chinese cabbage on March the 7th. And like I said, it's March the 15th. So we're talking eight days. Um, we made rows in this pot and soil here and planted the seeds in rows within this tray and allowed the seeds to germinate in the greenhouse. And here we have an eight day old Chinese cabbage plant. Um, <clears throat> this stuff really likes the warmth of the greenhouse and will germinate very rapidly. So with that being said, we need to give it more space in order to develop the type of roots it needs to be set outside. And this is on the early side of transplanting them into packs. We could probably wait another three or four days if we needed to, but um, for me personally, I like to get them separated so I'm not untangling a bunch of roots and whatnot. So, um, you know, this is the end process here once we've already moved them over into their individual cell package. In this particular case, we've got eight packages of six plants each, and we will take these trays out in the field and pop each plant out and plant it in, into plastic mulch to keep the weeds and stuff down. But in order to get it to this, we have to pull these cabbage plants out of the germination tray and then we will plant each individual plant you have to excuse the video quality here this is kind of hard to do one-handed each individual plant will become a head of cabbage so if you're looking in the grocery store one day or when you see cabbage come in your produce boxes um, a little later in the spring you have to realize that each individual cabbage came from one individual seed and more than likely had somebody taking the time to uh, move each of these plants around at some point in time to um, in order to get a healthy cabbage if we don't do this and we we'll just plant the seeds outside the seeds are just too small to plant efficiently and you end up planting them way too thick and you'd end up spending a lot more time trying to thin and 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 cut the plant population down than if you just uh, uh, plant them in individual packets like this. But uh, here we go, middle of March, March 15th, and we're planting Chinese cabbage today. So uh, wanted to thank you guys for checking out our farm and stay tuned for more videos. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Eric Keene, Childbrook Farm. Thanks.